welcome back in. This is Talk of the Town, and right now we're going to check in with Joy Nelson. She's with Memory Matters, and as we can see, Joy, you have a guest today. <laughs> we do, we do. <laughs> Justice has been on the show um, before every once in a while, but um, you know, Memory Matters, we're, we're best known for our day program with those who have mild to moderate Alzheimer's or dementia. And um, he has the run of the room when the participants are in the building, and he's our in-house therapy dog and just gives them loving and kind of breaks the ice for anyone that's anxious. Well, and such a sweet pup. So it's so fun to have Justice on set. I could see how that would kind of be, you know, just calming, have a, a sweet dog to pet and have around. It, it is, especially for those who are just trying us for the first time maybe. Yeah. Um, it's a conversational starter where he will go right up to him if he knows someone's anxious. Yeah. They'll immediately start loving on him. Well, then the other participants, oh, well, he justice is here all the time. You're going to love him. And it's a conversational. So that eases the person even more who might be a little anxious. Yes. Oh, do you think I'm anxious? Are you coming <laughs> to help me? I love it. Well, so sweet. I, I think that's a great idea. And there's a lot of things that you do to help families and help people who are coping with this and there's so much that goes along with it you Absolutely. know emotionally and physically let's talk about the speaker series that you have in june yeah so um we're so excited um it's going to be our fourth session of our speaker series and what's so cool about this is the late afternoon evening hours can be really tough when you're a caregiver loving or caring for someone with alzheimer's or yeah, dementia yeah so what we've put together are simple suppers for two so one of our board members who's a chef kim Beretta, will be coming on and um, giving several dishes, a cooking demo of several different dishes that you can have your loved one do with you. So if they're anxious in the evening, maybe living through sundowners, this is something where you can involve them in preparation for dinner and then you can sit down and eat together. So it's gonna be a really fun, it's gonna be at First Presbyterian on June 21st and you can go to our web, web page and register for it. I think that's such a smart thing to do because as you're, you're right, especially that time of night, it can be a little bit nerve wracking and you might be, you know, they might be wondering what's for dinner or forgetting what's for dinner or, you know, all these things that can happen and being involved in it is such a great way to just stay connected to what's going on. We're having supper, I'm helping, you know, I think that's really great. Well, and what's, you know, that kind of, and all of these um, simple suppers will follow the Mediterranean diet. And Mediterranean diet is one of the five brain health interventions. Actually in 2023, it was rated the best um, diet for the sixth year in a row. Not wow. just for weight loss, but for brain health. Um, so all of these will, will follow that. Um, but again, it goes back to what you were saying, speaking with them, um, talking with them, those are also fall into the, the five brain health interventions. So socialization. So often when you are in the mo moderate to late stages of Alzheimer's or related dementia, you're not speaking as much. You're not talking as much. You're kind of isolating yourself. Well, this is a great way by involving them in the preparation for dinner it's getting them talking some more. Um, they're also going to learn. Lifelong learning is another intervention um, that is so vital. Yeah. And it's proven that if you follow these brain health interventions, it will actually slower the progression of the disease. And that is so key. Yeah, that is so amazing. Especially, you know, you're trying to just really soak in that time with your loved one and experience as much as you can with them and having those to just slow things down a little bit and, and make those memories. That's really special. Absolutely. And, you know, that's one of our, our five hour day program for mild to moderate um, uh, participants is we go through, we practice all five brain health interventions every day during those five hours. Wow. So they get a good Mediterranean meal for lunch. Um, we have some chair exercises in the morning. Uh, we have socialization because they're talking. I always joke during the lunch hour, you would feel like you're walking into a high school cafeteria because they're all chatting with one another. They're all telling stories. Uh, and then we also have pet therapy. We have art therapy, music therapy, which is also lifelong learning. 
Um, right. And then we have some meditation, meditation and cool downs at the end of the day. So many great resources. I think that's wonderful. And I love the, I, the connection of, of food to your mind because we so often think about our bodies and forget how important that fuel is for our brains. Absolutely. Great takeaways. Well, thank you so much, Joy. I encourage our viewers to go to the website memory, mymemorymatters.org to learn more about these resources. We appreciate you. Thank you for having me. We'll be right back.